Welcome back to our final segment of Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk uh, Bulldog track and field. And with us is Coach Jared Kelsch. And Jared, first of all, welcome to the show. Thanks, Rob. I know uh, the indoor season uh, already behind you now as you get ready for the outdoor season. Uh, talk about uh, going into the outdoor season and, and finally a chance uh, here this week to, to start off the outdoor season. Uh, yeah, you know, just due to the weather and, um, you know, we had a couple of meets planned in, you know, the Ohio area or, um, you know, even a little bit further south, but they kind of got canceled at the last minute. So, um, you know, we had to kind of change things up. Uh, you know, we did a time trial this week, but um, definitely looking forward this week. We're heading to the Alma College invite. Um, they have a brand new facility, so um, kids are excited and, and looking forward to, you know, starting the outdoor track season finally. So. Before we talk more about outdoor track, let's go back to the indoor season and uh, the national championship. Samantha Johnson, an uh, indoor All-American in the, the mile run. Uh, talk about her performance at the national meet. Uh, you know, for, for Sam, it was something uh, very special. She's a fifth-year senior who, um, you know, had been to the national championships a couple of times, um, but she never had the opportunity to, um, you know, be All-American. Um, she, she was cut out just a couple of times. She's been ninth, tenth. Um, top eight or All-American. So as a fifth-year senior, her last year eligibility, it was a uh, you know, very, very big thing for, for her to be able to, to be All-American in her last indoor season. Um, you know, she, she did a great job in the prelims, um, kind of got tangled up and almost went down, but um, you know, she, she toughed it out and pulled her way back into the pack and uh, made it into the finals and you know, obviously was, was top eight and was All-American. So. The national championships uh, down in Birmingham, Alabama, and talk about what uh, that experience is like at the national championships. How competitive that is. Um, you know, when, when you're going against the best athletes in, in Division Two, um, it, it, it's always a, a big thing to um, be on your A game, uh, especially because you know it's not necessarily always an, an all-out race. When you have athletes running maybe you know two, three events, um, especially on the distance side. Um, it's more of a tactical thing as opposed to an all-out event. So, um, you, you know, you never know how much push and shoving is, is going to happen, um, you know, whether they're going for personal records or they're just trying to win the event because they have to come back tomorrow and run again and something else. So um, you really have to be on your A game and, and be prepared to, to, you know, handle any situation because you, you don't know what it's going to be like um, at, at that level of competition, you know, racing the best, best kids in the country. So. I know uh, besides uh, Samantha Johnson obviously earning indoor All-American honors, uh, you had a strong indoor season. Uh, talk about the, the progress the team made uh, from the start of the indoor season uh, through the end of the indoor season. Uh, really this indoor season was uh, you know, one, one of the better ones we've had in a while. Um, you know, we had four provisional national qualifiers, our women's distance medley relay, um, Samantha in the, in the mile, Brianna Ovakaitis in the mile, and then Sam also qualified uh, provisionally in the 800. So um, you know, we had a total of, I think, 30 PRs just on the indoor season, um, you know, from everything from the 400 meters to, um, you know, the 5K. So uh, it was really a big step forward for us as, as far as progressing. Um, you know, we try to use the indoor season um, as kind of a training segment working towards out, you know, outdoors. Um, and, and that's always kind of our goal is as to how much work can we put in from January into to March to help us prepare for that overall outdoor season. So, um, you know, we, we really moved in the right direction this year. Um, you know, a lot of kids got um, season PRs, lifetime PRs, um, and, and that's huge for us, you know, going into the outdoor season because that keeps them fired up and, and, and ready to go and, um, you know, keeps them on the kind of competitive edge. So. As you head into the outdoor season uh, this week, what do you see as some of the, the stronger areas uh, in terms of the events uh, for the Bulldogs? Uh, you know, after our time trial last week and, and the bad weather, um, you know, we we had a lot of PRs in the time trials. So uh, I think we're going to be strong in everything from the 400 to the 1500 to the 5K. Um, our throwers did a time trial as well, and they, um, you know, we had some PRs there in the hammer throw and, and the shot. So um, our big thing is, again, just kind of getting outdoors and, and being able to get one in. Um, that being said, even though it's our first meet, I expect um, big things from our team this weekend so Elma this week uh, what do you see as some of the some of the bigger meets on the schedule as you, as you get ready for the GLIAC championships uh, you know later in the season we'll be going to the Hillsdale Gina relays um, down at Hillsdale they always put on a big meet towards the end of the year um, you know we're also going to the the Grand Valley Allens Owens Classic that's usually pretty competitive for us um, and, and it's always good too you know to be able to go to find meets that are a little bit closer um, yet that are still competitive for us and you know allow us to less travel and and more time to focus on competing so 
those are probably the two biggest meets we'll be heading to this season other than the GLIAC championships. I know obviously uh, the goal is to get uh, as many qualifiers as possible as well to the Division II championships. Uh, that meet in West Michigan this year. Uh, talk about uh, the fact that Grand Valley's hosting that for the second straight year. Yeah, the, the fact that, again, that, that's so close. Um, it, it's always a big thing when um, we don't have to travel. That, that takes a, a lot of energy and you know um, layovers and, and flying when you have to travel out of state. So. Uh, it, it's huge for us that it's only you know an hour, a little over an hour away, um, you know, and, and the fact that we'll run on that track, uh, you know, one, at least once, maybe twice this year, um, kind of gets the kids in a, in a better mindset as far as um, you know that that's a facility we see quite often. So um, you know we're not expecting any um, bumps in the road, so to speak, as far as you know not knowing what the facility is like. Um, you know, our biggest challenge outdoors is is weather and, and knowing that they have great facilities there um, to kind of help help us uh, you know get through that is is uh, the big thing and um, you know we'll, we'll race a lot of teams there that we'll see all year long on that track earlier in the year so um, it, that's probably the biggest thing is just being so close um, and you know being that it's a school from our conference hosting the meet it's that's going to be very beneficial for us. Oh, you mentioned some of those teams you'll face uh, throughout the year, and obviously the GLIAC, uh, well known uh, in terms of track and field at the Division II level. Uh, talk about uh, taking on those Division II teams from the GLIAC and how that prepares you for some of the some of the, nat the national meets as you move forward. Yeah, um, you know the, the GLIAC conference is probably one of the most competitive conferences in Division II. Um, you know, leading into the indoor championships, we had three teams on the men's side and on the women's side that were ranked in the top five uh, in the country. So. You know, having the opportunity to see those those teams early on, you know, two, three times uh, indoors, two, three times outdoors, um, you know, kind of gives you a better hold on on what our competition is um, and, and what we're we're looking to, you know, face later in the season. Um, and being able to be familiar with your competitors uh, gives us a huge advantage. So, um, you know, we, we really like that we get to see those GLIAC teams early on. Well, Jared, uh, thanks for being with us here today, and uh, best of luck to the Bulldogs as you start the outdoor season this week. Thanks a lot, Rob. That's going to do it for another episode of Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the action online, get all the results online as well at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Have a great week.